I'm Clint from the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue with step eight of our Spring Boot Security or Spring Security. So now it seems this is the final lap of our Spring Security. That is in area of actually fetching username and password from MySQL database. We've actually done almost everything. Now we are going to now do the security configuration here in the in this class of security config that extends web security configurer adapter. So the first thing we want to do, of course, all the steps are here for you. So feel free to follow the steps. Let me see, um, should be here. Okay, great. So the first thing we want to do is to wire in the, the, the user detail service into this configuration file. So I'm going to just say, of course, to auto wire something in, you just create a private member variable. So user details service, uh, let's call it um, user details service. Okay, doesn't doesn't matter because we need to use the camel case. So I change this to a lower case, and that's this kind of best practice. So why is this giving me? Uh, okay, no, no, uh, it's not a function. So let's just remove this. So uh, with let's auto wire a auto wire. Okay, so I'm going to just bring in the the packages. Okay, so. So far so good. So now we expect this user detail service to provide us with the provider, the identity provider that uh, uh, have access to the user details. All right, so what we are going to do, uh, we are going to create a new provider. So the provider is called DAO authentication provider. Now DAO means data access object. So that means that if we are using a DAO authentication provider, we are telling Spring that the, the, the username and password, let's call it provider, the username and password is stored in the database. So that is why we use DAO provider. Of course, the other providers, we have LDAP, we have uh, many other ones, uh, a, a number. Of, we have Alt or two, uh, which is by Google. So new, DAO authentication. Maybe we can try out other ones a little later, but for now, try to take some time. This one appeared to be tough, but it, it's actually not. Just take some time, do it a couple of times, create this application yourself, delete it completely, and start all over again. Do it two times, and it comes easy. It becomes a part of you. So let's see. DAO authentication provider. Okay, there's a typo here. Uh huh. So we are now going to give this provider the user detail service that uh, it's going to use, which we auto wire in. So we have provider dot uh, dot sex dot sex user detail service is going to be user detail service. So everything is fine. Uh, and then we set the password encoder because we actually don't need to put password in, in database like plain text. So we need to use encoder. But for now, we are just going to use no encoder. So to tell this provider not to use any hashing or any encoding for the password, just say provider.sex password encoder. And we just say no op. Password encoder dot get instance. So yeah, it's not happy with us because you actually should use an encoder. So it's trying to tell us, oh, why are you not using an encoder? It's not safe. Actually, in production, you can't do something like this. But we are just doing a demo. So that is why we are not we are storing our password in plain test. Return the provider. So this configuration file. Uh, it's completed. So what why do we have this? Cast to user detail service. Uh, return provider. Okay, so um, public. Oh, oh, this is this is not happening. So, um, okay, so now 
what we should have here because this this actually came from the previous the previous one so i'm going to pick all these is going to be authentication provider uh, of provider okay so protected authentication provider or provider or provider okay so it's been but it's not overriding anything let's just pick all this authentication provider great so put in the namespace i think it comes from the mysql it should be the second one it should be spring framework security authentication yeah okay okay so i think everything should be fine by now so let's try to run this application meanwhile let's check uh, mysql database let's check the usernames and password that we have there so let me go to mysql so in mysql is use the command line this time so that we can save the time so use users db that's name of my password select star from users user so we have Hercules and we have gifts that is the name of the password I have Achilles and we have gold okay so let's just run it so if everything goes fine, I'm sure I wouldn't have no error because I think I actually did everything perfectly well. Oh, but we have an error. So let's try to fix this. At this point, I'm going to just want to expand this. So let's see where this... Oh, we have the, the server time zone is a problem. The server time zone, okay. So this is a problem that happens from time to time. So to correct this problem is coming from here. So we need to say at this point you need to say server uh, time equal to UTC. So if you say server time equal to UTC, it's going to solve this problem. So I'm going to run this application again. So let's see hopefully everything will go perfectly mm -hmm. okay so we have an error so let's see where the error is coming from uh, again it says server time zone uh, so not server time server time zone at this point uh, server time zone so if you go to okay uh, server time zone I think that should be correct so let's, let's go again the reason is because I actually made a lesson on this that tells you how to solve this server time zone issue so let's see okay so at this point everything works fine Tomcat started on port 8080 so let's go to try to assess this uh, our home page so if I say slash home all right, so it tells us to log in. So let's try something else. Let's say, uh, let's say Ninja, and let's say Zoom or oh, Bus Credential. So let's try what we have. Hercules. Uh, password is gift. All right, signing. Perfect. So it worked. Uh, so again, I'm going to try the next one. So home. Uh, although we are already logged in, so it's, it's, it's already logged in. So it, we it may, it maintains a section. The section is maintained, and this is things we are going to look at a little later. But for now, this is the basics you need to know. The question now is how do we create a new user? How do we make a, a registration page? Uh, how do we uh, format the login page? Because now we've not created any login page. It's using a default login page that is created by Spring Security. So if you go back to my website, so if you go back to my website and you scroll down a bit, you can see a section that says next steps. So we have next steps. Uh, we have questions like how do we create user details in insert user details? How do we customize login page and so on? So there are many challenges you may have. 
So what I want you to do on um, this video, please leave any questions, any way forward, any nice steps you want us to take. Please let me know in the comment box below and then we proceed from there. Meanwhile, I'll thank you for viewing and remember to subscribe uh, to my channel. This has been informative. Please like this video and also uh, share it around.